you guys have got to check this out. I'm going to take my phone, touch it to the back of my ICOM 705, and my owner's manual opens right up. Let's see how I did it. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So we're going to be utilizing something today called Near Field Communication, or NFC. And you can buy these little NFC tags. I've got two different types here. You can pick these up off of Amazon for dirt cheap. I think it's like 13 bucks for 50 of them or something around that. Now this one is a hard plastic type substance. Uh, and there's no sticky back on the back of it. It's about the size of a quarter. Uh, rough estimate there, but it is a um, kind of a thick plastic material that uh, is rigid. This one, on the other hand, is a sticker. Now, it is almost exactly the same size, but you can literally peel and stick this thing. Hopefully, you guys can see that. You can peel and stick this onto a different device. Now, I'm going to be utilizing the iPhone today to do this, but you can do all of this on Android as well. What can you do with these little tags? Well, you can do things like write your home SSID and password for your Wi-Fi down, or, or write it onto one of these chips so that if you've got company over, instead of having to give them that password, they can simply scan this chip and get onto your Wi-Fi. You might write a web link onto one of these that people can scan and be directed to a specific web page. I'm going to use them a little bit differently today. I'm going to use them as an automation. And as soon as I scan one of these tags, it is going to bring up the manual for that particular radio. And we're going to be doing that for the uh, Yezu FT65. So let me bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what's going on and how we're going to make this happen. So if you're on an iPhone, let's go ahead and open the Shortcuts app. Down at the very bottom, we're going to select Automation. Now, in the top right-hand corner, we'll hit the plus sign, and we're going to create a personal automation. We're going to scroll down until we find NFC, touch on that, and we're going to click Scan. It says it's ready to scan, so I'm going to take the NFC tag and just hold it up to the top of the phone, and it scans that tag. Now we just need to give it a name. So this one we're going to call FT65 uh, Manual. Once you've got the name entered in, go ahead and choose OK. And then click Next up in the top right hand corner. Now we're going to add an action to this. So I'm going to click Add Action. And one of the first things I like to do is have the phone to vibrate when it recognizes that NFC tag. So I'm just going to search for vibrate right up in the top box there and then select vibrate device. Next, down in that bottom box where it says search for apps and actions, we're going to search for file. And then we're going to choose open file. Now, I have this particular file stored on my iCloud drive and I have it downloaded for offline use just in case I don't have an internet connection when I need to view this manual. Once this has added the open file automation, we want to choose file right here, and then I'm going to search for the FT65 Nifty Manual. Once I find it, I'll go ahead and click on that, and then it says open this in the default app. I want to change that to be files. Once you've got both of those changes made, click on next. Right here where it says ask before running, I'm going to turn that off and just tell it don't ask. It kind of defeats the point of automation if it's asking before it does something. After I've turned that off, I'm simply going to click done and close out of this application. Now when we scan the tag, it will open the nifty manual for the FT65. 
and we can go ahead, since that's a sticker, and just place it right on the back of the belt clip. Now, one thing I have found about these, they don't work well if you put them on a metal surface, so I tried putting it on the back of the battery for my FT65, and that did not work very well at all. Putting it on the belt clip seems to be a great option. And that's how you can have instant access to your manual on your phone by simply tapping your radio. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.